Hi, my name is Jeff Long of the OnlineCourseCoach.com website, where we talk about how to best create your online courses. And I want to talk about a new service from Moodle called Moodle Cloud. And in this video, I want to give you an overview of what it does and walk through signing up for your own Moodle Cloud account. And so Moodle Cloud is really good and it will really hit a specific target audience. And so the people that they're trying to target are those that aren't tech savvy, that don't want to install uh, an LMS, a learning management system. They don't want to set up maybe a hosted Moodle installation or use a separate LMS or even build a WordPress website with a LMS plugin. Moodle Cloud is perfect because you don't have to manage a server or upgrades or maintenance. It's also geared towards small schools, companies or entrepreneurs that have maybe small courses with a small audience and no budget. And the best part about Moodle Cloud is that it's for free. So Moodle Cloud updates the software for you to the latest version, which if you know anything about Moodle, that can be you know a, a positive or maybe a negative experience, but Moodle Cloud makes it easy because they do all the work for you. Moodle is automatically responsive out of the box, and that means that your website or your LMS automatically adapts based on the device it's on. So if it's on a computer or tablet or smartphone, it will adjust. And so your learning management system or your courses will automatically adapt. And that's huge because mobile usage is exploding. I mean, I've seen this with our clients and, and their courses. A lot of people don't even have computers or laptops. They have a smartphone, they have a tablet, or they're in the field. or So whatever your audience is, chances are they want to be using their smartphone or a tablet. And this is perfect for that. Now, there are some potential downsides to Moodle Cloud. You can only have 50 users maximum. Uh, you have 200 megabytes of disk space. So if you're thinking, oh, I want to put, you know, some, some files or PDFs or videos. Well, a good workaround, and Moodle Cloud allows for this, is that you can host your larger files with Dropbox or Google Drive or iCloud. And you can even host your videos with YouTube, and it will automatically embed once you put that YouTube URL into your course. Something else that might be a, a negative or a positive is it only allows core themes, and a theme in Moodle is the look, the layout, the design of the, the website, and it only allows core plugins. So are there a certain amount of plugins that Moodle offers that you can install on your Moodle Cloud website? Now they do offer a way to do video conferencing, which is really cool, through a service called Big Blue Button. And you can do uh, video conferencing, you can do a lot of things with this, but it is limited to six people and you can't record those sessions. So it's perfect for a small class or a study group or just even an impromptu uh, thing where you want to teach a few of your students. Maybe they have a question, you can gather them around and have a, a short conference there. Now, like I said, this is a free service and they do put ads in the footer. So if you don't want ads, if that's a big deal to you, then Moodle Cloud might not be the best solution for you. But with the explosion of learning management systems like Moodle and some WordPress plugins that allow LMS uh, systems and other paid or free or freemium learning management systems, Moodle Cloud looks like a great option. So let's, let's sign up for Moodle Cloud right now. So go to moodle.com forward slash cloud where you can get a Moodle Cloud site now. So the first thing you want to do is title your LMS. Make sure you're not a robot, please. And then just simply fill in the appropriate information. Make sure to read their terms of service. And actually this terms of service is easy and somewhat enjoyable to read. So it's not that hard, just a couple paragraphs. I read it on their website. So on here, you know, there's a lot of scrolling, but on their website, it's, it's pretty short and sweet. In fact, it doesn't have any confusing terminologies. It's, it's pretty easy to read. So feel free to read that at your convenience. Click continue to go forward. And Moodle Cloud is actually tied to your smartphone and this helps uh, alleviate spam. So it will send you a verification code. So simply go to your phone, see what the verification code that you got an SMS from and type it in here below. So I've gotten my code and I just type it in here. 
The next step is to pick a password and make sure that it's strong. I always pick a very strong password so that nobody can hack in. And let's click save. And there we go. That's it. We're all done. You can log into your website. And here is what your new Moodle Cloud service looks like. So it has a, a dashboard over here with the admin settings. It has your available courses, which you can actually take a course on Moodle Cloud, which is pretty cool. And there are a lot of different things you can customize with the sidebar and, and different things. And as you'll notice, the ads are in the footer there, which enable this to make it free. So there you go. There's a quick introduction to Moodle Cloud. I encourage you to take this introduction to Moodle course that's within your Moodle Cloud uh, dashboard there. It'll walk through step by step on how to create a course, modify a course, and get your course up and running so you can put students in so they can start learning. So there you go. That's an overview and introduction to Moodle Cloud. We'll have future videos coming out that will go through step by step on how to set up your Moodle Cloud courses. So keep coming back to OnlineCourseCoach.com for more tips, tricks, podcasts, and tutorials on how to create better online courses.